What's going on everybody? How's everyone doing out there? Coming to you from Oro Grande, California off of National Trails Road just west of Victorville. And I was traveling along this highway and I came across a bunch of abandoned places. This being one of them, an abandoned gas station and mini mart. It sits along National Trails Road. Back in the 1920s, this road changed names to Route 66. So once that happened, a lot of mom and pop shops opened up, little restaurants, gas stations, hotels. It was the way to travel from Chicago to Los Angeles. And here we are 100 years later. And as you can see, there are remnants of some of these places still up today. Looks like an old garage right here, 24 hour towing, open 24 hours. Right behind this garage are houses. So I won't be showing you what the backyard looks like because there are people out there. And it's right here where obviously the gas pumps used to exist. Check this out one dollar per gallon the good old days the simpler days ice cold beer look at this cold pop and of course groceries this is the mohawk mini mart got the original sign still hanging and i would love to go inside to show you what the interior looks like but unfortunately i can't look at that old indian head that's this is history right here. It's still standing. Very interesting. I figure I have to document these historic buildings because in about 10 to 20 years, all of this will be gone and there'll be no trace of Route 66 whatsoever. Just down a ways, there's a lot more abandoned buildings and also very, very old buildings that are still in operation today. So we're gonna go and check those out. National Trails Road isn't all about abandoned places. In fact, they have some pretty unique places as well. Look at this place. It's a bit strange a bike on the top that says pizza it's obviously a pizza place cross-eyed cow pizza and right next to cross-eyed cow pizza is the bank of oro grande established in 1860 look at this place 1860 Ooh, i want to see i want to see can you see inside Ooh, let's see, keep it right there. And I tell you, people on this highway, they don't really care. They'll do 90 miles an hour right here, right next to you. So be careful if you're going to be in this area. Cross-eyed cow pizza. So about 100 yards away from cross-eyed cow is a giant caboose. Route 66 storage, a good way to advertise. And directly in front of this, you will find the antique station. I wanted to go inside there, but they are closed. Although the door or the sign does say it's open. It's actually closed. Look at all this rusty gold. And it looks just like an old saloon. And it will not surprise me if this place was an old saloon. Let me back up a little bit so that way you guys can get a better perspective. Leaving the antique station, which turns out to be open after all. It was just open on the other side. Right next to that, you will find the Oro Grande Farm Implement Company. Okay, about a mile from the antique station and all those other places is an old cemetery. I know absolutely nothing about the cemetery, but the gates in the very front are extremely old. Turn of the century. The tombstones on here date anywhere from the 1850s all the way to the 1950s. So a good 100 years. I'm assuming this cemetery was used before it was closed.
about Mason. Yeah, let's get out of here. Deteriorating. Where are we? Where in the hell? Look at this. Trump condos. <laughs> Only in Victorville. Yeah, really. Look at that old ram. This whole entire area looks like a film location for Rob Zombie's movies. <laughs> This is where they filmed Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah, I've seen 